Hey, 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 it's me, I'm back in the same outfit. It's just the way I'm doing it now. I'm doing a tutorial and then shooting three or four videos on the same day to make sure I always have content up for you. Um, but we just changed the background a little bit, so you're not so bored. Anyway, I'm here today with my summer Luke's box uh, from Loose Button box opening. I uh, will give you a little preamble about this. Luke's box is a quarterly subscription service but they quite often will come out to you a month or two ahead of when your box is due to come and say hey this partner has partnered with us this month and they are offering an upgrade for five dollars so you pay the five dollars and there's only ever so many upgrades available so you rush in you pay the five dollar upgrade and then you know exactly what's in your box and so one month it was um, Lulu magazine that paired with them and you got three months free Lulu magazine and then very specific products that Lulu had picked out and they're usually kind of bigger products uh, you know more uh, more product in each sample what have you the thing is what will happen sometimes is they will say this is available do you want to upgrade and you upgrade and then three weeks later you get another email from them saying oh we've also partnered with this partner that upgrade is available but once you have upgraded once you cannot upgrade again so what they do do is at the end of an upgrade period if all of the upgrades have not sold they will put it in their shop where you can just buy the box outright so i did that this month because i took the bobble bar upgrade um, i had bought a few bracelets from bobble bar before i was kind of interested in what they showed so I took it and then bought one of the other boxes and did get some repeat stuff um, so anyway I just wanted to let you know that this box is a bobble bar upgrade now this month they included in all the boxes so I get a big whack of these the crest white strips but here's so there's three of these little pamphlets in my box uh, with uh, Shakira on the front. And when you open it up, there are two blister packs of toothpaste, kind of cool for traveling, and then one white strip. Now, I am going to open this one just to see. Uh, here's the thing, here's why I think we got these. Here's why I think they're jammed in every one. When you pull the white strip off, you see that it expires on August 31st of this year. So that's just, um, you know, a month away, month and a half away. Um, you are only supposed to use these twice a year. I just used white strips right before I shot the candy show. I did a 10 day round of them. So for me to think about using them again before August 31st, uh, it's kind of soon, but I took one of the ones that I got, and I'm going to see right now if this is the case with all of them, and I opened it because I was thinking, eh, maybe I'll just do one treatment. Yeah, and I think I'm going to have the exact same problem here. It's dried up. It's no good. This white, this, I use these all the time. Like these Crest white strips cost about 50, 60 bucks for a box of 10. Look, it is, there's no moisture left. Look, I can barely peel it off the sheet. And it's just, it's like sticky like glue. What should be on there is a whole bunch of like really movable um, bleach. So I appreciate the little blister pack of toothpaste, but Luke's box. I don't feel like it's a bonus when you throw in there stuff that is almost expired that in fact has already dried out in the package. So that was a little disappointing. Have it. However, that was like a bonus. So inside, here's my bag, and we'll just open the bag and get to it. There is an Essler. I don't, I've never heard of this brand before. The Art of Beauty Hydrate Protect Treat. Inside the card are four blister packs. Um, one is of cleanser, one is of scrub, one is a moisturizer, and one is a mask treatment. So this is a little sample by Nexus. Um, Combat eight signs of aging hair. 
It's a youth renewal serum for hair. So I will give that a try. Um, you may think it's weird if you are not aging, but your hair texture does change as you age. So it's helpful to have, to have something like that. Dermadoctor KP Duty. I've been getting a lot of these Dermadoctor samples in a lot of my uh, subscriptions and kits. So this one is KP Duty Lotion. has a picture of a rooster on the front. Dermatologist AHA Moisturizing Therapy for Dry Skin. I'm thrilled to tell you it does not tell me it has rooster technology like the lobster one did. Uh, it says just what the doctor ordered. Clinically proven formulation improves the appearance of dry skin and rough chicken skin bumps. KP Duty contains glycolic acid and urea to actively exfoliate and hydrate dry skin concerns. So that's cool. I will check that out. I got a little pair of black tweezers and I got a pair of these in the box that I bought. So I'm going to put these back in their little plastic sleeve and I'm going to include it in the giveaway I'm doing in a few days. Got the Ico Skinny Liquid Liner in black. I'm going to have to go back and look at my videos. I, I can tell you this, I have never once purchased an Ico eye pen. I however have about six of them now. So I know that I'm getting these a lot in subscriptions. I know for sure I got one from um, Ipsy Glam Bag. So I'm going to go back and look to see if, I, if I've received one of these previously in Loose Button because I have only belonged to Loose Button now for about a year and a half. And if I'm getting multiple products, like the same product within that time, especially something like an eyeliner, which, you know, I'm not, I don't need another one so quickly, then that is like, eh. I got a tiny little mini uh, Nicole nail polish by OPI. It's very pretty. The problem with the minis is you don't know what the name of the polish is because it's never written on the bottle anywhere, which is kind of stupid because a mini is designed to get you to buy the big one, right? You get the mini, oh, I like it. Well, oh, I like it. I got no freaking idea what color it is, so duh. Um, and the only thing about these minis, I here's what I don't like about minis. They always have jerked off little brushes and you can never get, that brush ends like here. So you can never get much polish out of them but anyway i will use it and you know do my nails once and it's a very pretty color it's like a pale mint which is hot this season Ooh, and then i got something from tees i'm loving this tea stuff i'm actually wearing a tees eyeshadow right now that i got in a i think it was in a loot box it was a loot box or ipsy and this is tees island palette eyeshadow long lasting in the color paradise bird Ooh, it's brown Paradise Bird, I don't know about you, I was expecting like a peacock color kind of, but it's just, a, it's a nice brown. It's a nice brown, but it's, it's brown. And then the final thing in my bag, the final thing in my bag was the Bobble Bar upgrade. And it is a bracelet and the choice you had was of three different colors. Uh, Bobble Bar, the Smart Girl's Guide to Bobble Care, this is just showing you how to care for your jewelry and I picked yellow because I don't have much yellow jewelry. I'll tell you why I like Bobble Bar bracelets. Bobble Bar has a lot of this style of bracelet and I have a big wrist so when it is an actual bangle I usually can't even get it over my hand. With these you can come in on the side and then it fits. So now this one, I must admit, is a bit small because look, one here, one here. Very cute. Um, a little bit of blue, a little bit of white, a little bit of yellow petals in it. Let's take it off because it's not matching the jewelry I'm wearing today. But there it is. I would say a bit of a disappointing box, this order. Um, I'm so loving my Ipsy Glam Bag and the Wantable Box. I've only gotten the Wantable Box twice but I'm really loving it and the um, I just got the notification that in my July Wantable box there's going to be some Tarina Tarantino and I love her makeup and since she has left Sephora it is not very easy for me up here in Canada to get it so I'm really looking forward to it. I am going to give Loose Button till the end of my subscription like I've you know paid for the year 
And if it kind of stays at this level, I'm probably going to say goodbye. Because there's really, I don't know, like the, the only full-size product in here was this friggin' pen, which I've gotten, like I said, so many times before. So we'll see. I just think uh, Michelle Fawn, hats off to you, for the price of her glam bag and the size of product you get. You know, there's some months you don't like it as much as others because she'll go more skincare than makeup. Uh, but overall, when you look at month to month to month, it's pretty spectacular. And don't forget, this is a quarterly subscription, so you're paying um you know kind of more for the box this box should equal really like three months of product and they're saying oh you know there'll be bigger things in it i'm paying way more for it than i pay for that ipsy glam bag yet i get like two or three full-size products in every ipsy glam bag plus a really nice cosmetics bag so if you want to kind of get a sense of what my loose button boxes have had in them over the last year and a half you can look below denise always links uh, the other videos I've done opening these boxes and you know I would say compare it to my um, Ipsy Glam bag and you'll see this button falling behind. That's it for me. Thank you so much for watching. Give me a thumbs up. Let me know if you're part of this uh, subscription and what you think of it and um, yeah I will talk to you in the next video. See ya.